Today we're going to be unboxing a new top secret Lamborghini chair. Hey everybody and welcome back. I'm your host Primo and welcome to a new year. This is it. This is the new stuff I have we're hitting the ground running like a dragster here. We're starting off with a really cool item to show off to you today. But first, I want to get into kind of the story of how we got here. If you guys have seen me before, my choice of chairs is very important to me. And one of the big things that I've always had is I've, I've sat a lot in supercars and most notably Lamborghini. So if you've seen our Down X chairs, those have a lot of similar kind of seating that has to do with say Lamborghini or supercar style chairs as you can see I actually like them so much that I actually bought a second one so I wanted to have those for the studio and for a, for a chair to sit in and gaming chairs are really good because they help you sit for long periods of time so they have kind of a, a new thing if you're doing a lot of editing or doing a lot of filming like I do you kind of sit a lot so you want to make sure that you have something good for you or any kind of guests to sit in. So when Top Secret announced that they would have a Lamborghini chair way back in, I think it was 2021, I was on board. The first email that I ever sent out to them was dated January 18th of 2022. So as you can see, I've been waiting a while. I emailed them a couple of times to make sure that I would be reminded of a chair when they came in. And shortly before, I can say the Christmas time area, I got my first email to say the, v the chairs were going to be available and if I wanted one to jump on board with it. At the time, they didn't offer an XL chair, which I'm a big guy, so having something like that was important. So, But shortly after they brought the XL out, the second I saw the XL, I wanted to buy it. Now, my wife wanted to get me a Christmas gift, so I wanted to make sure to not take any of her thunder away. So I made her aware of the chair. I knew exactly what she was gonna do. She was not gonna miss an opportunity to jump on it and purchase one for me. And sure enough, when I got into the Christmas tree, there was my little order form that says that my chair would be on the way. It almost made it the day after Christmas, <clears throat> but unfortunately due to shipping problems, it didn't make it on time. So here we are with my awesome box ready to go. So everybody has asked me, is this a pinnacle chair? And no, it's not a pinnacle chair. Pinnacles were limited to 50 examples. They're carbon fiber. They don't have the bright green on them. Uh, there's some Alcantara involved in them. They're a very cool chair. Uh, but they had already said by the time that they announced them that they're already taken. So I think what happened is, is those chairs were already spoken for by people who, let's say, did some stuff for the company. And I haven't done anything for them before. I didn't see, I can understand why you wouldn't think I deserve one. So, but I don't see that as a bad thing. These come with the green and I really love the green look to them because Verde Ethica is one of my all time favorite colors next to the Papura series that Lamborghini offered all that time. So don't get upset. I'm very happy with what I got. All in total, I spent close to $1,000 to purchase this chair if you wanted or had a pinnacle. I think the list price on those was like $1,695. So with shipping and everything, you'd probably be in around the 1,800 range. The other thing they said, there will be a wave two coming down the road. So will there be something else available? I don't know. We're gonna have to see. I know I'll be keeping my eyes peeled because I have a couple of the chairs. I still need a chair for my office desk, not just my streaming desk. So, and as you guys, if you've seen me stream before, you always know I have my specific chair that I sit in that I love. So what's the plan today? It's gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna do an unboxing on this. I'm not gonna go over all the boring details of putting the chair together, just enough to kind of show you what it's like, show you the pieces, show you how to put one together, see how easy it is. I've never put together one before. This is part of <clears throat> Top uh, Secret Lab's big thing, which is their Evo 2022. So I've heard a lot of good things about it, but that's really gonna be the priority here is seeing how well the chair is once we get it. Does it really check off the Lamborghini boxes? Lamborghini is very specific about who gets to put their name on their brand. So if I see something on it, I wanna make sure it passes the sniff test. 
And lastly, if we make a video like this and it kind of explodes up and everybody loves it and you guys hit the like button and press some subscribes and we blow this thing out of proportion, then who knows, maybe the next wave they'll have a special edition seat just made just specifically for us because let's not give it all to the gamers. Let's make sure us car guys can take this stuff back, right? Everybody's on board with that, I know you are. So without delay, Let's take a look at this, let's start peeling this thing apart. I'm excited, I hope you're excited, and uh, check this out. Okay, that right there is pretty cool. Oh, look at that, that's the instructions. Okay, there's two things I've kind of learned from these. Number one, that they're always much bigger than I thought. So I'm glad to have all this padding down. Uh, secondly, there's a lot of this that's kind of pre-constructed that normally when you get a, a gaming chair like this, there's a lot more work that needs to go into them. So I'm looking at a lot less here, but I'm still gonna be very careful. So I wanna make sure all the pieces are in and then we'll have it start putting it together. So what I found funny here was it says cut here, but there's already notches put in it. And once you start it, you just put your hand in and it comes right out easy peasy. So the other thing is it has these little holder things to pull it out, but you really have to pull it out that way. So I don't know, it's kind of a contortionist effect. I'm sure there's some dude at Secret Labs that's like knows exactly how to do that, but I'm learning on the fly. I gotta say these screw things are the worst for me. The reason is is because I think they can strip really easy. They're very big threads. And this one seems to go in on the top fine all the way flush. I have to back it out a little bit so I can do the other side. But the one on the bottom is fighting me. There's always one in the whole batch. So I'm hoping that what I got here is just a me problem and when I tighten it down, it's not a I broke it problem. So a couple of things that I always think because I'm a car guy and most of these guys are gamers so I'm sure a lot of this doesn't come up but with the screws on the sides I would love to have torque specs maybe I'm asking too much from that but it is what it is I just like the idea of having them a certain level of tight and the reason is because they always back out at some point and I like to make sure that they're snug all the time so they don't fall apart in every chair I've ever had they do that the other thing is, is I'm not a big fan of the magnetic covers. I just feel like I'm either gonna knock those off or they're gonna fall off at some point. Who knows down the road, I might find a little plastic or something to put in there and there is a screw point in there that goes on it. So I don't think it would be too much to ask to have like a screw center mount or something to put it in to make sure it doesn't fall off. But I guess the magnet thing is what everybody likes. I already noticed it. I'm gonna call it damage. I don't know what it is, but some of these foam pieces here Obviously in transit or being in boxes for a certain amount of time, they're gonna deform. I'm pretty sure this will probably undeform over time, but you know, guys, put it in the comments below, see if that's something that you've run into as a problem. This is it, my new Secret Labs Lamborghini gaming chair, podcasting chair, driving chair. I don't know, it's gonna get a lot of use, that's all I can say. This is a really good chair. Uh, I do have criticisms, obviously, with the way some build instructions and some stuff was ambiguous, uh, but when you smell that Alcantara, there's just something perfect about it that makes it just 
it nails everything. And I'm sure down the road uh, with guys like us, car guys that pick stuff like this up, um, I do think there's a market for it. And I do think there's a different kind of way that we think. So especially with like the magnetic sides and stuff like that. But the, the replaceable hand rests, the changes in this, I don't know if I'll use this later, but definitely is gonna be my new chair of choice. Uh, and it feels awesome. I, and I was one of those guys that before said, you know, any any chair will do, that kind of thing. What's the big deal? But once you sit in a chair like this, you realize with the supports, lumbar, all the things that you have in here, it's on a different level. And it really tells you why the gamers out there who take a lot of time sitting in chairs all day kind of get it right. And the other thing is, is that if you ever saw, sat in a good driving seat, you're gonna see a lot of this stuff in those that helps you sit for four to six hours in a chair racing or you know however you have it done from a from a factory level and this is something i think it's not just lambo i think a lot of guys could benefit from this kind of you know listing out there to get people involved in it especially with podcasts so so will i let people borrow this chair it is never leaving my studio for any reason whatsoever uh, I may let people sit in it, maybe for a fee. I don't know how we're going to work that out, but no, obviously I'll let people sit in it, but it's not going anywhere. This is my new chair and I'm super excited. Uh, easily one of the best Christmas gifts I've ever had besides the camera that I'm currently filming this on. So um, yeah, definitely positive. Is it worthy of the Lamborghini stamp of approval? I'm going to go with absolutely. Like I said, the smell of Alcantara alone would definitely hit the bill but with the there's certain accents about this that i can't explain to people that all the lambo guys out there will say you know what there's a lot of boxes that this checks um and that's the thing is is if you're a lambo guy and you're looking for a office chair highly recommended especially if you sit on your back you guys are the lawyers executives real estate you sit a lot of times in your chairs you don't realize how much time you sit until you sit in a chair like this and you go, whoa, this is a little bit more dialed in than I'm used to. And trust me, I've sat in some really junk chairs in my life that I actually signed off and said, yeah, these are the ones. So it's a different age and it's awesome because we have different opportunities, different things to have available to us and it's all exciting. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you liked what we did here. I hope you liked the show off of the chair. You, I hope you like it because you're going to see a lot more when we do our podcast in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the new big year, 2023, starting off on the right foot. We're going to have some podcasts coming up, uh, working on some guests, working on some uh, people. I don't know. Maybe I'll have a co-host soon. We'll see how that all works out. But, uh, yeah, the studio is ready to go. A lot of people love it. And, uh, yeah, lots of stuff in the pipeline here. Taking some of our ideas, taking them to 10 maybe even 11, who knows, 12 or 13, 14, 15. There's nowhere, you, nowhere of knowing where you can go with this. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon. And as always, keep on rolling.